Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, uh, good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on this uh, Thursday, March 2nd, 2023. It's about 10:19 a.m. here in the West Coast in California, and uh, got some uh, large earthquake activity coming in to the Earthquake 3D globe. Also, the seismograph station's picking up this earthquake as well. Uh, this is coming off of a 6.8 earthquake shown up there on the globe. Uh, 6.2, I believe, is from the EMSC model. Let's go ahead and check out the specifics here uh, on the USGS map showing a 6.8 in the Vanuatu area, 33 kilometers deep just a few minutes ago. And as we can see here on the seismograph, just starting to get the first signs of it coming through. Uh, New Zealand looks like that's picking it up also up into Japan. So somewhat of a large earthquake here. Uh, it has been, I would say, relatively quiet. Uh, around this region over the last couple days with all the westward momentum here you can still see all that activity up around the western pacific and adjacent plates up here so uh, continuing to reinforce that westward pressure direction movement uh, with this 6.8 coming in right now uh, to the vanuatu area there is no tsunami warning advisory watch or threat from this earthquake uh, and again this is in a uh, area that does see quite a bit of earthquake activity historically this is just since about 1900 or so um, showing quite a bit folks this is one of the major hot spots here uh, within the area of the pacific plate that sees uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity all right so overnight uh, we did see quite a bit of movement up here as noted across the western pacific and adjacent plates all across the indonesia area <clears throat> excuse me hopefully i can keep my voice here um 4.9 looks like the latest one here in this specific area 286 kilometers deep uh, just north of the mariana islands uh, it is into the northern end here of the mariana trench and uh, prior to that couple other earthquakes throughout the philippines region and uh, kurokama chaka trench for now uh, looks like the activity has halted since last night couple fives up here uh, but with this activity kicking up in the Vanuatu area, uh, there is, well, let's see, this 4.7 came in earlier, just a couple hours ago, not even quite two hours ago, prior to this uh, 6.8. Uh, so deeper movement here, pushing that momentum and pressure up along this region here, along this plate boundary. Uh, so we're trying to think here. We did see quite a bit of activity here. Let me look what we got here for the last uh, 30 days of 4.5. Uh, we did see quite a bit of movement upstream along the Tonga Trench over the last 30 days. Uh, so that's kind of what I look for after reviewing this deeper movement quake activity. Uh, is see if we got, um, checking to see if we have adjustment upstream. And it looks like we have, uh, this area around Vanuatu uh, did see quite a bit of activity over the last 30 days. Mostly 4s and 5s, some of it deep as well. Uh, but this earthquake a little bit... Uh, more on the plate boundary itself uh, there is a trench that sits up here a couple different trenches and segments uh, where this deeper activity can trigger the um, much shallower larger activity uh, so it looks like we may want to watch a couple specific trenches up here south solomon trench looks absent in earthquake activity um, and there is a little section here along the plate boundary that hasn't really seen any activity in the last 30 days so keep that in mind following this movement here with the northwestward plate uh, momentum uh, let's see all right um so we'll jump back on here in a little bit for a complete update just wanted to get this information out on the 6.8 um let me see what the emsc models are reporting here stand by for just a second I think they're the ones saying it's a 6.2. Uh, no, they upgraded to 6.5, but uh, looks like the USGS is going to stick with a 6.8 uh, in this area of the Vanuatu area. And let's check and see if it's been reviewed or not. Looks like it has been reviewed, so we'll hold steady with that magnitude and uh, we'll be back here uh, in a little bit uh, with a complete update on the weather and uh, space weather activity got quite an active day in terms of 
weather into uh, portions of the uh, southern plains, Texas area. And uh, goodness, got a high risk of tornadoes today. So we'll go over that uh, as well. We'll catch you guys back here uh, shortly.